Hello over to Ashley. So I know you spent quite a lot of time colouring your model this morning. Oh, yeah. And I know that's a passion of yours. And also, what are you doing with this gorgeous haircut? So with this haircut, I've brought this all round, short round the nape, and created a weight line coming through. And if you just see, I've followed this on just through into the fringe slightly. So then this is all slightly disconnected, and I'm just going to go through, make this a little bit choppier and a bit more versatile. So at the moment, it's looking really cool and masculine, but at the same time, we like to get a couple of looks out of one haircut. So we're just going to make it a little bit more versatile and textured. Sorry, my microphone. <laughs> I'm just going to hold that. First uh, technical flaw. Go on, you will sort you back out. <laughs> Thanks, Ruth. Um, so with my model, Rachel, really clean bob, really simple, just to the, uh, just above the jawline, just to really open up the face. What I'm working with is just a contrast, the really clean cut bob. Let's get a little bit um, deeper into your kind of show. Tell us kind of how you built up the shape and like the techniques that you're using to... So, um, I've first cut the um, 90 degrees, so quite steep, so that we don't build up too much weight. Um, once I've cut all that in, I've then gone back through little chiselled kind of bone structure. Now, Ryan. Well, we were cutting this side um, in line with the jawline to accentuate it. Um, and then we're moving on to the fringe sections just so we can make the line as sharp as possible. And then we're going to go in and add some layering through just to give it a little bit of texture through the top. And then we're going to go in and point cut the long layers that we've done earlier just to give a little bit of movement and softness through the ends. The venue today have lots of clients with longer hair and I think that, you know, to have something that inspires you as a hairdresser to do something different with long hair is always really important. So Ashley, how are you getting on? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, at the moment, I've just gone through and textured this layer through here, starting from the crown and working around in a circle, taking my layers up and just ever so slightly angling them into the crown so you get that, bring that round, so you just get that weight and everything falling through onto the front because we want this to be the heavier section. And then I'm going through now and I'm just rounding off the layers ever so slightly just to soften this weight line just lightly just so um, you don't get too much of a harsh line coming through so it still looks feminine and pretty. And why, why are you pointing into the hair? Why are you not club cutting it? Um, just to give it a softer effect. Just, um, does, it, does, it, does, it, does it blend the hair through better? Not necessarily. Um, Bruce taught us to actually, you don't have to always point cut, you can club cut. And as long as you take, and take the weight up to the right area, you can be getting the same effect with club cutting. But because Colleen's got quite fine hair, I don't want there to be any t too many harsh lines going through it. So I'd rather it just be really soft. So when we run our hands through it, it all just blends in. I think that uh, what Ashley said is so, so important. You have to choose your right technique for one your shape your technique that you want to put into the hair but also assessing the texture of the hair so um really really good technique actually well done thanks and um becky's going crazy over here <laughs> i just think what you were talking about earlier you know it's kind of for me my my training is in precision cutting you know really clean lines really strong shape but it is nice every now and again to do something a bit different a bit of point cut a bit of texturizing but it's all about control so it's not just going mad in and out taking weight out it's all about kind of being really precise with what you're doing so becky what was it like when we were at the fellowship luncheon back in december and uh, what was it like just before the names were announced do you know i'm absolutely devastated because i couldn't eat any of my food we had the most exquisite <laughs> meal and my stomach was doing somersaults i was absolutely starving but yeah the nerves are really kicking in and what was it like when your name actually did get announced it was really surreal actually it wasn't until my partner went they just said your name and i was oh okay and I was, it was really really surreal but really exciting was that was that the point you could eat your food yeah <laughs> he'd already eaten it by that point he'd eaten it for you Okay, so we've got some really fantastic, a couple of really beautiful models that um, are from the photo shoot we've done that will be launched very soon. So if we could have the uh, two models out now.
we'd like to walk to the front of the stage, girls. Extended the length of the head, kind of just about weight level, and we used a lot of wind to really get a, a loose kind of kind of flowing texture. And I'm going to ask um, Ashley to talk about Katie's hair. So you've got a 100 metre dash to the front of the stage. Keep that going with me. Sure, you can't see as well from up here, but Katie has the most stunning ice blue eyes. So putting this little veil of baby blue through the front just really enhances them and the most amazing eyebrows which frame them. So using that colour within the V of the fringe just to enhance the whole look of the face and everything. Beautiful. Do you like them? Do you like it? Put your hands together then. Um, we'll keep them up. I love this shape here. What's going on here? So it's really this, cool. Um, I've just straightened this out so I can just define the shape a little bit more. And I'm working with this slight undercut that I've created with the weight line and just ever so lightly connecting this V through the front, but it's ever so slightly off-centred, just to frame Colleen's face a little bit better, and then we'll get a lot more texture and a little bit more versatility out of it, so she can wear a fringe going one way, fringe going the other way, her fringe going up. With Colleen, she's got quite a rare growth pattern where she's got two cow's licks coming round, so with this slight undercut following in from the weight line, it really helps you be able to use and versatile this fringe out a little bit more other than putting in a side fringe and it wanting to kick up like you normally get in salons so if you talk your client into having just perhaps having this weight line coming through and getting rid of them cow's licks you'll be able to get a lot stronger shape so i i, I imagine that you can get your clients to do anything you're so cool aren't you yeah do they let I you do anything on, on the whole on the whole, I think trust is a big issue with our in our industry. So as long as your clients trust you, they tend to let you do do as much as you you want to their hair. Obviously, you got to say to them, look, no matter what, I'm going to make you look beautiful because if I don't look good, you don't look good. I know someone else who said that. I know. Um, what um what is it that um can build that trust then with your clients? I think. From the minute they walk into the salon, you've got to, you've got to become their friend. You've got the, you've got to win them over because automatically they're a little bit nervous, and then, um, then obviously doing, doing a good a job as possible with them. But you've got to really sit down, and that consultation is the main thing. So sitting down, talking to them, finding out what they definitely want, and looking through their hair and thinking how you can work it and make it better. That's the main. And Amazing. we're we're only three months in, although I said it seemed like a lifetime. Um, what's been the highlight so far? Um, oh, God, there's been loads. I loved my day with you. <laughs> yeah, that's another five pounds for you. <laughs> um, as Ryan said, Tyler Johnston, he was amazing. I absolutely loved our day with Billy Curry. He talked through emotional intelligence and how to work through and how to work through different situations and how to put yourself in other people's shoes and to act a little bit more grown up and even the top guys need sometimes have to learn that so to learn it at such a young age for all of us I think it was really important just the way he talked about working and dealing with different situations and I, I learned loads from him that day as well as all the hair that he did for us brilliant so okay so Ashley, let's take the gown off yeah. and uh, walk your model to the front and then um, if you just do a recap, wait till you see these clothes, they're awesome. Thanks, thanks. Time, tell us what you've done with the cut and the colour. So, to start with, with Colleen's colour, we've done a really rich, dark auburn brown, and then we've put panels of like a Cadbury's milk chocolate purple and like a pale aqua metallic blue, just to come through and really enhance that vampire fringe. And then within the cut, we've gone through and I've almost like a disconnection through here. Can you turn around for me? 
so almost like a disconnection we've taken this really short into the nape and through round the back of the ears and then we've got this lovely weight line that sits over that blends in through it all so it's still feminine and soft with that rounded layering coming through here and then taking layers from the crown and pivoting around the head just to get that really lovely texture coming through here as well so we can have that and turn back round for me so we can have it really nice and sleek and sultry or really textured and edgy so